This question could really go to anyone sitting at the table because it's about entrepreneurship education. And the question comes from Monique, and she's asking, do you uh, suggest that you get experience by going and working for someone else or by starting your own venture and kind of learning on the job? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was some early research that showed that get um, working for someone else first mm -hmm. did predict greater likelihood of success, whatever mm -hmm. you're going to define success as in entrepreneurship. And part of the idea was not just what you learned, it was, well, A, you saved some money, so right. you had some, right. some financial resources, but you built your network, so you met other people who were in the field who could help connect you to other people. So there is something to be said for acquiring resources, you say learning for, on somebody else's nickel mm -hmm. for a bit. But it's like mm -hmm. fit again, too. That works well for some people. For others, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know, they may have already been having a business in high school, mm -hmm. you know, or, or while they were growing up. They may have grown up in a family business, mm -hmm. so they already have a lot of these things in place. So it's not one or the other. It's really no. about fit. What works best for you mm -hmm. according to what kind of business you want to start, according to what kind of environment you're in. Mm -hmm. You know, the other uh, interesting thing is we have an entrepreneurial employee report coming out based on GEM and that should be available on the GEM website in a few days. Um, really the emphasis that you can work for somebody and be entrepreneurial mm -hmm. and what we found in GEM is some of the societies we have said for a long time have had low rates of entrepreneurship like Sweden and Denmark actually have high rates of of employees that are entrepreneurs. So in those societies, there may be more incentives or more benefits to being um, in a company, but there are entrepreneurs in those companies that want to enact their, their energy. Um, and there are other economies where, um, especially in the emergent economies, where um, there is a lot of startup activity, but there are fewer job alternatives. So the um, startup entrepreneurs account for a lot of the entrepreneurial activity. But then again, in the United States, we have both. Mm -hmm. And we can think of the sense of people might flow in and out of being entrepreneurial in a company to doing a startup, or we have both types of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So it's really mm -hmm. uh, three different kinds of experience, back to what Patty said. Um, you need to have industry experience or context experience. Mm -hmm. You need to have some kind of entrepreneurial activity experience, which is the entrepreneurial knowledge. And you need some sort of education, business education. And so, as Patty said, it depends on where you are in your career and how you accumulate those. So if you have no context or industry experience and you want to start a business in an industry that you do not know, go work for somebody else, learn the industry, and build your network. Mm -hmm. It's also saying you can get a job. Mm -hmm. You know, so there is back to that necessity and opportunity part, mm -hmm. too. There yep. may not be a job available that yep. you want to do. Therefore, you may look to be entrepreneurial at that point in time, too. That's the environment piece. Yep. And the other thing I want to add to it in terms of uh, Babson's approach to, to education and a lot of universities are really realizing is the uh, practice-based approach to, to mm -hmm. entrepreneurship education where mm -hmm. you get and actually try something. And as, mm -hmm. as professors, we encourage the students to get out, go into an airport, and mm -hmm. what are you observing? And that develops your opportunity recognition skills. It mm -hmm. also develops your, your confidence mm -hmm. in going out and exploring your universe and, and interacting with people as well. As, and, and that really helps build the skills you need as an entrepreneur. Yeah. And a Babson student wouldn't have to ask this question because they would have started their own business <laughs> That's right. as That's a first-year student here at Babson. Yeah. Um, at least run one. It, at least one, and then <laughs> and closed it down. So right. they, they will always they will have already had that first business Absolutely. under their belt.